Okay, this is part four of the basic introductory graph editor and animation series. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use the shape keys that we just looked at in the last lesson, and we're going to mix them with the animation that we created. So we have two things. We have the graph editor open here, and then we're going to need another editing window. And in this case, we're going to need the shape key editor, but it's in the dope sheet. All right, so you get the dope sheet here, and then you're going to have to come down to this menu and there's the shape key editor in here. And we've looked at this before, but briefly, not too much, but th I have covered several lessons on this back in the tutorial, either the quick tip tutorials or the 2.6 tutorials for new users. I have went over a few lessons of this. So this is pretty straightforward. So this controls the keys that we have set up from the previous lesson, right? So it's not showing anything. Even remember these are, there's our basic shape, Remember, you can't go from 0 to 1 in here, but only this you can. You can see what it's going to look like by going 0 to 1. And that one you can go from 0 to 1. And that one, so those are our three basic shapes that we have set up in using them. And here they sh repeat over here. We can just do the same thing over here. There's, zero, there's that one, that one, and that one. But now notice what's happening as I'm doing it. These little yellow uh, diamonds show up here. So watch, I do this. And there goes the yellow diamond. Well, basically what I did, I just set a keyframe for that shape key <laughs> by doing that for each one of those channels. So it's like, okay, so let's just, well, and they're set still there, but let's just, we'll leave it at zero, you know, at that basic shape. So let's go up to frame 50, like this, all right. And then from frame 50, we'll just, increase we'll just look at it over here this is for maybe for freight for this uh, key one I set it here and notice it's moving it over there in the in the shape key window like that right but when you do it there it doesn't set the keyframe if you move it here though however it sets the keyframe so you can if you want to evaluate it in advance just evaluate it over here all right and you see it sets the keyframe like this all right so we've set the keyframe for that one and then maybe we'll go up to frame 100 and go oh well I want to be on you know key 2 I will, I'll go to key 3 it doesn't matter the order I'll use key 3 and I'll just kind of check it out over here and go oh, okay that's going to there right and notice the other keyframe is st I mean the other shape key is still set so I'll set that only partially on and then so over here I'm gonna have to click in this window and change it in here to point whoops point seven four one there it is there and then I'm gonna drop this one back down a little bit and so now I've set a keyframe for that one and that one here and then then the last one maybe we'll go up to frame where how far are these going there's well maybe we'll go to 200 this time or close to 200 somewhere in there doesn't matter exactly where and then over here I'm just gonna I'm just going to go for it and I'm just going to set the shape up like that and then cut these back down like this a little bit. Maybe I'll leave it a little angled like that. And so this set that shape. So then of course, then when I run it from the beginning, not only is it going to change shape, but it's also going to start bouncing around in the scene while it's changing shape. All right. So that's the basis of a lot of animation. You have the character if you're doing character animation, the character is changing shape and then motion is taking place of the character and then also motion maybe of the background scene and the camera and the whole nine yards is taking place like that All right. so once you have those maybe you decide you don't want one right so I can just go right click that dot right there and then I've selected those keyframes of course I could press X and I could just delete them like that so I will I'll just delete those keyframes like that alright and then We'll continue on like this. Of course, they're still set. I can just go right click them all, shift right click them all like this, but they're still set. And then you can see only that one takes place. It's still expanding on that one and working like that. All right, well, so that's the basics of getting going. So practice that because that's a fair amount of information in these first four lessons. And these are just the basics to get you going because then we have, then we're going to kind of start heading back towards the armatures that I've covered in previous lessons as well. And we're going to mix the armatures in with everything else. And we're going to, pretty soon we're going to start tying everything together 
And when I start the intermediate tutorials, some of these get a little more intermediate, of course, but uh, the intermediate tutorials I'll do will be mostly all theme based, you know, fun, like we'll start either with a story or some adventure, some something we have in mind for an animation or some scene in mind and then we'll build the scene as we go is in here we're just doing practice all these uh, lessons so far are like playing the chords on your guitar or your piano it's just you got your chord book out and you're playing and practicing but it's not really making music right but if you get really good at using the chords then you can be really good at making music right same kind of effect all right all right well that's it for now and i'll see you in the next lesson